RKL, the infamous NWO, back with another video. So I finally got my box order from WWE Shop. I ordered this November 11th, and they sent it out all the way till November 30th because I stupid pre-order on one of these things. And now I finally got it. Finally. Let's get the bad boy open with the keys. Infamous keys going on here. Let's use a smaller key. Can I just rip this open? And I just did. Alright, let's get this bad boy open. Let's see if they have everything. Got everything. Good stuff. Good stuff. Throw this right here. Nice paper. Don't need that. Merchants. Merchandise return envelope. And we have the toys. The cell phone thing that everyone gets. Ooh, let's get started right here. Alright, let's check if they have everything first. Alright, let, let's want to get started with the first thing. Our Survivor Series Anthology 5 Disc Set Volume 2 from 1992 to 1996. Oh, this was only, what was it? Um, uh, $15.99, I believe. Let me check on this paper. It was sixteen dollars. Yeah, this was when remember old school raw. Well, when that happened, I ordered this order, and this is only sixteen dollars. So was this one Survivor Series Anthology Set Volume One from 1987 to 1991? I still understand why they haven't put the other two volumes out, but God knows the WWE. So I ended up buying this. I wanted to wait for them when they had the big sets, like how the regular anthologies are. But might as well grab them. 16 bucks each. Brand new seal. Not a bad deal at all. So let's put those here. Alright, let's get some, some shirts. Alright, the first shirt we got is... It's uh, extra large, yes. Right shirt. We got an Austin 316 shirt. Finally, I finally buy go and buy myself an Austin 316 shirt. Every time I always or like I always want to get something from WWE shop, I always want the shirt, but I never end up buying it. So Austin 316 shirt, but it's a WWE logo on WWF. Well obviously. This was only what was it? This was only nine I think it was nine dollars. This was only seven ninety nine on the old school radio. Yeah that's how cheap it was. And might as well, instead of getting a uh, Austin awesome shirt, have to get the Rock shirt. The Rock just bring it. Rock symbol at the back, yeah. That was another $7.99. Because I was going to get a Nexus hat, but then after they didn't have my size, so I changed, I changed the Nexus hat to those two shirts. So it equaled out the price. Alright, now we got the good stuff right here. First, we got, we got the Raw is War shirt. Once I saw this, I'm like, I gotta get this shirt. Raw is War shirt. This is a must-have. These are the the old school retro shirts. I like this because it's plain and you can wear it. You can pretty much wear it wherever you want, and it's kind of like a wrestling shirt, but it isn't because it just has that one thing on the front. It's not like kiddie-ish, so you can wear this wherever. That's sick. Raw is War. And the material actually feels really nice. All right, we got that. Next shirt, we got a WCW shirt. Obviously, gotta grab this shirt. I love WCW back in the day. This is what I used to do in my childhood. WCW and Monday Night Raw every every week, every week wrestling, 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 wrestling. So gotta grab these shirts. Once I saw, that's why I placed this order, just because these two shirts must have, and I can wear this wherever I want because it's not like a um, a wrestling shirt like Soul Kitty. Um, this is just there's a logo on it, and you can wear it wherever, and it's nice material too. And now this is the shirt that took forever because it was on pre-order and took like a month, well half a month until I finally got it. This is the Undertaker extra large shirt, the limited edition one. So let me figure out how I open this package. There's no tape, so gotta rip this open. Ooh, this is really nice. This was twenty nine ninety nine. Undertaker shirt. Wow, that looks nice. 
And the thing about these ones are, um, you can wear these wherever you want and people don't know it's a wrestling shirt. But then they will because it has this stupid thing. They should never put this right here. Um, it says limited edition 1000. They, they shouldn't have put that on the shirt. But overall it's a really nice looking shirt. If it wasn't for that logo, no one, no one would have known this was a wrestling shirt. Which is really cool. And it also comes with a certificate of authenticity. So, uh, photocopy signed of Vince McMahon. Number 789 of 1,000. Wow. No wonder mine took forever to get. So we got, we got the Undertaker shirt. We got WCW shirt. We got the um, Stone Cold shirt. What else do we have? We had Raw's War shirt. And we got The Rock Just Bring shirt. Um, oh, right. The anthologies and these shirts were $10. This was $10 and the anthologies were $20. But I got the 30% off thing, so it ended up being $16 and $8. And the Undertaker shirt was like $20, what was it, $24? What was it? Uh, Undertaker shirt, $24. And those two Raw's War and WCW ones were $22.50. So, yeah. And plus shipping and all that, it came out to $130. Bucks. So, five shirts. Two anthologies for 130 bucks. You can't beat that. And you got old school stuff, new school stuff. And, um, yeah, I can wear these whenever I want, except the Austin Rock shirt. But if I do, people will know who those are. It's not like wearing a Cena shirt. I'm like, ugh. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys later because I am out of here. I got an exam and then I am done my semester. And then I got three weeks off. Three and a half weeks off. So, good stuff right there. So, yeah, thanks for watching.